Well, the seeded hunt almost got completely derailed. What happened was we'd used this site a year or two ago for a seeded hunt, and it was perfect. But since then, and we haven't been back here for probably like a year, and uh, all of a sudden people started using this as a dumping site, illegal dumping. So there was stuff every... Also, we came over we thought, well, it's going to be a lot of work for a bunch of old guys <laughs> to plant over a thousand coins. That's a, a job in itself. But we didn't realize we had this gigantic mess. Cou old couches, mattresses, bed frames, you know, uh, refrigerator, washing machine, just junk everywhere. So... <clears throat> And then on top of it, because of the rain, the rainy season, we never had this before. All these weeds grew up everywhere, as you can see here. So it almost seemed impossible, but we decided, okay, we have no way of hauling all this junk, but we'll pile it up the best we can. And uh, so, and then we'll try to hack the weeds down as much as we can. So anyway, here's. Here's one of the piles here, and I'll show you the other pile in a minute. It's way over there. That just give you an idea. And we still have, we still have a, more cleanup to do, more stuff to put on the piles. Another thing they did. I mean, these are pigs, just literally pigs that do stuff like this. Okay. Another thing was. Let me take you up here. And, uh, okay, they, it looks like they brought a whole bunch of glass sliding doors. And I guess they must have just dumped them off real quick. And they shattered all, you know, to a million pieces. I'll give you an idea. Here's, see all the glass everywhere, over here, down there, all over the place, way up here. So now we got the problem getting rid of this glass on top of it. And so anyway, we were kind of in a quantity. We thought, okay, we'll do our best. So we came over here uh, and started putting the stuff in piles. But when we got over here, I was the only one that had been here to see all the junk. And Greg came, my, Greg and myself came. And I told Greg, you know, something's different. There was a couch, it's gone. The refrigerator's gone. The uh, wash machine's gone. So some of the big stuff disappeared. Well, all of a sudden, I, I get home and my wife says, oh, there's an article about the illegal dumping. And she didn't know it was this place that the article was about, but just a couple days before, a reporter came out here and um, and they uh, took pictures of this place and showed how they thought they said within the last two and a half weeks it looked like somebody probably lost their house and and just dumped the whole household of stuff here so like two and a half weeks <laughs> previously to when we were going to go ahead and set this thing up they're dumping stuff everywhere here okay so because of that they got a hold of the landowner, the Menifee people did, the government, and made sure he got rid of some of the stuff. So he did get rid of the refrigerator and the couch and a couple things. But we piled the rest up, and Greg called the mayor, Bill, the mayor, and uh, sent him a couple pictures to show him the stuff we had piled up. And uh, anyway, so we're going to come back again in a couple days and do some more but hopefully they'll come back and get rid of I hope they get rid of this glass before we get back so you don't have to mess with that but like you see there's tires down there I don't know if you can see them on this camera because of all the rains and winds there's like branches everywhere here so we'll try to move as many of those as we can but can't do all of that I don't want people tripping and then one thing we can't take care of all over the place they dump chunks of concrete so we'll just have to avoid those areas pretty much
So here's another pile we've made so far over here. Give you an idea of some of the junk. Bed frames and chairs, fences and blankets and tires. It's all kinds of stuff under there. So anyway, give you an idea what we're up against. So we'll try to do the best we can. So the, so the thing is still on. And uh, of course, by the time you see this, it'll all be over with. But this, this is just to show you <laughs> what we had to go through. So something we thought would be fairly simple turned out to be a giant deal. Greg, you're here bright and early. We've been coming over here off and on for a couple of weeks trying to clean up this place. Just raked a whole bunch of stuff over here. But... I'm gonna, I'm gonna thrill. <laughs> yeah. And uh, let's see, as you can see, there's trash everywhere. So I'm trying to rake up this trash just over. There's a big five gallon bucket of old paint over there. I'm just kind of raking it all over there. We have no way of disposing of anything. We're just putting in piles out of the way. So anyway, onward we go. Surprising how long it takes to rake this stuff up. Still, I got a long ways to go. Running out of steam. <laughs> uh, the problem is, you rake up a layer and you uncover another layer of trash and and branches and everything. So <laughs> It, it's a bigger job than it looks. There's like different layers. You gotta, you know, take out, rake away to get down to the solid stuff. But we'll do the best we can. We'll get there. We want everybody to have a wonderful time. Wednesday, November 6th. Trying to clean up this mess. Uh, this was just added here a couple days ago. We've been trying to clean up and can't keep up with these illegal dumpers. They just keep staying ahead of us. Gets frustrating. Bunch of pigs in Minifee. We got all this trash here. I gotta try to push it more into a pile. Dirty diapers and everything else here. Friday, the day before the event, we're still trying to clean things up the best we can. I've been cleaned up that area over there and I'm working over here, just kind of pushing it in piles. So we'll do the best we can. Uh, Greg's going to be here in a few minutes, and Lori later on from Mine Lab. Anyway, that's it. I got here early because I got to take off and go to work. Those Lori just got here, and Greg's been here a little while. So we're making a dent. I'm going to clean some of this, made little pathways here and there. Can't get it all, but anyway. So there they are. They're one of them anyway. I don't know where Laurie is. Oh, he's way out there. They're putting up some flags so you know where the boundaries are.